Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I know you enjoyed my first Natural Solubilizers video, but that was a little while ago, and we've had some fantastic launches in this space. So here I'm bringing you another video to show you some of the latest natural solubilizers that you can pick and choose from and their results when blended with various essential oils. Now a couple of things I want to point out about both natural solubilizer videos. I've really put the solubilizers to the test, especially in this video. I've used a 5 is to 1 ratio, so 5% of the solubilizer to 1% of the essential oil plus some vitamin E. And that is quite a strong test to put them through. Some of these solubilizers you'll see perform better when they're used in a 10 is to 1 ratio. So 5% solubilizer to 0.5% essential oil and vitamin E combined. But it does depend on the type of essential oils used and of course this will also vary if you're using essential oil blends. So now let me show you the results and I've got a great summary table at the end to help you decide what might be best for your next project. So these are the test samples here. What I have as my benchmark comparisons is the mixtures with polysorbate 20. Now I'm using the same essential oils as I did for that first natural solubilizer video. I've got orange, peppermint and geranium. Now this is with 5% polysorbate 20. It's not natural but we're using it as the standard to compare to. And you can see it has solubilized those essential oils really well. The next test material I used was Natrogem S140 MP by Crota. This is how it appears when mixed with orange essential oil. This is it with peppermint. Now what you can see at a 5 to 1 ratio, while it looks clear, it hasn't perfectly solubilized the material. If we give it a shake, it does come together, it is cloudy, so it is reasonably stable, but of course we don't want that separated layer. So this would perform better if it was used in a 10 is to 1 ratio. So too with the geranium, again you can see that not solubilized layer at the bottom. It comes together when shaken, but again would perform better if used in a 10 is to 1 ratio. Next we have Reance 1 by Avonic. Now this one here you can see even though it's cloudy looking, it is very stable. You can see there's, there's no uh, settlement either to the top or the bottom of any oily layers. Uh, there's no residue left in the container. It's just simply opaque to look at. This was with the orange essential oil, this was with the peppermint, the same results again, very stable, it's just cloudy to look at. And the same results with geranium. And again, very stable, there's no sediment, there's no floating at the top, but it's just opaque to look at. Next we have Symbiosolve Clear Plus, also by Avonic. Now this one was definitely my clear, favorite from this test. You can see here mixed with orange, totally clear, totally stable. With the peppermint, again, totally clear, totally stable. And with the geranium, cloudy looking, but again, totally stable. And this was in a five is to one ratio. So for performance and effectiveness, Symbiosolve Clear Plus was definitely my favorite out of the ones I've tested here at a five is to one ratio. But this material is anionic, which means it's not compatible with cationic materials. So if you're using cationic materials, that one's obviously no good to use. Finally, Tigo Solve 90 by Avonic. Now this one here had some interesting results. Here it is with orange essential oil, totally clear, totally stable. Then with peppermint, we can see that there is an oily layer at the top of the product. It's translucent. This was at a five is to one ratio. So as a 10 is to one dilution, it would perform really well. We can shake it, it comes together, but obviously that's not good long-term. So a 10 is to one ratio, it would perform really well. And the Tiga Solve 90 with geranium, we can see some separation of an oily layer at the top and also at the bottom. 
give it a shake, it comes together. But again, not the best for stability at a five is to one ratio, but would perform really well as a 10 is to one ratio. Now, here is that information summarized for you in a table form. So there you have it, a nice little summary of some of the latest natural solubilizer launches and how they performed. Now again, I want to emphasize I have used quite a challenging environment by making them 5 is to 1 preparations. As you could see, some performed at 5 is to 1 ratios, while others would need to be mixed at a 10 is to 1 ratio to get a similar type of performance. And remember, it totally depends on the essential oils you use. As you could see here, we got some really good results with some essential oils and some not so great results with other essential oils or simply need to use a higher solubilizer ratio to get the same type of transparency or stability. Now, just because a solubilized mixture isn't clear doesn't mean it isn't stable. It's just simply going to appear that way. So there's nothing wrong with a cloudy appearance if it's totally stable with no residue, either at the top, the bottom, or when you look at the packaging. So now you're gonna ask, Belinda, what were your favorites? Well, out of video one, Oromix CG110 by Sepic, which is chemically similar to Planter Care 810 UP by BASF, was definitely my favorite from the first round of solubilizers I tested. Another one that performed equally well from this second round of testing and is therefore also on my favorites list is the Symbiosolve Clear Plus. Now where I'm not limited by the type of charge in the formula, I'm gonna pick the Symbiosolve Clear Plus because it worked really well. But otherwise, the Oromex CG110 or Planter Care 810 UP are good non-ionic choices that also solubilize very effectively. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you also watch the first Natural Solubilizers video if you haven't done so already. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.